Did you know that in the first four seasons of The Amazing Race, there was a fast forward offered on every single leg except for the last two? However, because on some of these legs not a single team went after some of these fast forwards, many of them were not disclosed on air, and it was made to look like they didn't exist. If you look closely on some of these episodes, you can actually see some of the racers holding the green envelopes of these fast forwards. A few former racers such as Brennan from Season 1 and Cindy from Season 2 have shed some light on a few of these lost fast forwards. In Season 1, Leg 4, teams needed to board a fishing vessel at the port of Sidi Bou Said near Tunis to find the fast forward. On the next leg, teams were told to photograph something interesting in a certain cave in Tatooine. Later in Leg 8, teams could travel to a place called Janter Manter where they had to climb to the top of this structure to find the fast forward. Later in Season 2, Leg 3, teams found a fast forward clue on Robben Island, which directed them to Stellenbosch, the city hosting the pit stop, where they had to find the Muiberge strawberry fields and take a look inside of this unique structure. In Season 3, teams traveled by train from Porto to Lisbon. However, unknown to viewers, the train station of Porto housed a fast forward. Ken and Gerard, bored and waiting for their train, started doing the task, a jigsaw puzzle for fun until a member of the crew told them to knock it off. Something similar happened in Season 5, when the yield was introduced. Though only a few were seen, and only one was used, there was actually a yield on every leg except for the last two. Again, if you look closely, you can see the large yellow board of some of these unaired yields in these episodes. Did you notice that after Nick and Vicky checked in in last place on Leg 6 of Season 17, they didn't have to perform a speed bump in the next leg? Well, did you know that the reason for this is because of numerous production difficulties during the sixth leg? Every single team was affected by this at some point during the leg, which is why they were all bunched up at the circus tent during the next leg, a place that would not logically have operating hours. During the classical music detour, which Nick and Vicky struggled completing, the judge continuously said no when teams presented them with the correct music sheet. For these reasons, Nick and Vicky's speed bump was waived. This is not the only time production difficulties and penalties have not been disclosed to the audience. Just recently in Season 21, we witnessed a very close race to the pit stop between Caitlin and Brittany and Gary and Will. But did you know that Caitlin and Brittany had already been to the pit stop at this point? They had arrived in 6th, but had missed the U-turn, having been taken to the pit stop by chance. In the first season of The Amazing Race Asia, two teams switched places during the first pit stop without any explanation. Sahil and Prashant arrived at the first pit stop in 8th place, but departed in 9th after Howard and Saran. The exact same thing happened again in the next season, where Diane and Anne had arrived at the 6th pit stop in 4th place, but departed 5th after Natasha and Paula. Many are wondering just what happened to these two teams.